Good morning. This is Big Man Hay Supply. Off to a very eventful start to our morning. We have a flat tire. Two, in fact, the inside is going flat too. What it looks to be is the valve stems got twisted or something and they're leaking. I'll bring it closer and you can hear it, but man, it's always freaking something. Always. No matter what, it's always something. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. Just gotta figure it out, get through it. I called Micro Mobile in Winchester. They're on their way over right now. Hopefully they have the, the right tube size and they're able to get us back up and rolling because as you can see, we have hay sitting out inside the yard. You can see that one right there. It's absolutely loose and it's hissing. So tube is definitely shot. I was unloading and continuing to unload the semi these last four dumps with it completely flat like this so I'm hoping I didn't pinch anything in the sidewall and that I can still use this tire otherwise these tires are pretty expensive so I would have to replace that you know, I don't think I damaged the rim at all it already had kind of a little bit of a bend to it but this uh this little thing right here is the only new damage you can hear Jesse coming Jesse's on his way to get us some burritos while we wait. Micro Mobile is here. He's flipping the truck around. Hopefully, we can get this thing fixed. The inside went first. The, yeah, because it, it was making a yeah. like a clicking noise almost. Yeah, and yeah, it's that's, this, that's huh? it right there. So the inside went out first, and then it took the, the outside one. You're even okay without that. You just got to take it and get it welded. Once you decide to do it, you can put something better than that. But the thing is right now, we can get you going, but you can suck hard and...
is our problem. That's why we were flat. Look at that stem. These things start off straight. The other one is like that too. This one completely pinched right here and kinked, and that's why uh, we were losing air. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't a, a puncture to the tube, it was just the stems getting yanked. And the reason that that was happening, these nuts right here, they're a little bit worn out. So when they're being tightened on, they're uh, not fully getting as tight as they should be on here. So it's a little bit loose. And what's happening is the squeeze is moving forward or reverse and you either switch directions really quick. The hub on the inside is moving because of the torque of the engine. It's spinning but the tire is staying in the same spot and the hub is moving inside the rim because this isn't tight, because, because they can't get tight. So he's saying to, to replace these. Because that's spinning in there, this right here, the stems were getting caught on the hub because of that. A problem that it, it, that it created was on the inside of the second rim, there's like a, a piece of metal that stops on both sides to keep it from spinning. But because it had been doing it, doing it for so long, it broke one of those pieces off. It has a bump stop on this side, but not this side. So he said to drive it slow, not to switch direction super fast, or he's like, I'll see you tomorrow. So we just have to drive careful. He, he said these tightened up pr pretty tight this time. So he said it should hold, but he said to make sure to get it replaced soon. So, but we can work for today, which is good. So Micromobile will save the day. Well, we're back up and running. There's a few things that we also have to do to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Today, we can continue and get our, our hay back on the yard and we get our deliveries loaded up. But man, kind of a gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching kind of feeling in the morning to have a, a two flat tires on the squeeze and to basically not have our backbone to be able to do our delivery. So having Micromobile come through like that was super, super clutch. They came within like 30 minutes too. I called them right when, right when they were opening and they said, all right, we'll be there, cool. Pulled up, they had the right tube size. Berto, he's a professional. You saw how easy he took those split rims off and how he was able to put them right back on. I saw somebody else take these off and do them and it was a, it was a hassle, it was a struggle. So he definitely looked like he knew what he was doing. Looks like he does it all day. So I would recommend you give them a call because if you're in our area, Winchester, Temecula, if you have any farm equipment or anything needs to be replaced, definitely give them a call. But I also gotta thank Jesse too. He came in clutch with those burritos. Nerves a little bit, I don't know. Empty stomach, he freaking came in clutch with the burritos, so. We had a uh, good end to a eventful morning, so back in action. See you next time.